I bet AI could help me up my game. I bet AI could help me binge more shows. I bet AI could help me with these contracts. I think I can help you. Whoa! Hey Hans, how are you doing? Good, how are you, Shreya? I'm good, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having us. Um, could you tell us a little bit more about what you're building? Yeah, so Speed Legal, I think Grammarly for contracts, is an AI contract negotiator that helps lawyers and non-lawyers to understand contract risks in a few minutes instead of hours. That's awesome. And what do you do for Speed Legal? I manage the sales process, fundraising, and also the product division long term. Very cool. Um, I heard that you recently launched something on Product Hunt. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, it's very exciting. It's our first launch on Product Hunt, and we got a lot of good answers and good uh, upvotes. I was very surprised. And we launched the product itself because since January, we launched a new product, which is fully automated, no human in the loop. So can you tell us more about what your use case is and how your users are interacting with your application? Sure. So imagine Alice is a busy startup founder. She just maybe raised around or is about to think about raising. She has a bunch of contracts to review, but she doesn't know where to start. She gets an email. Maybe she reviews the contract. Maybe she doesn't have time. She asks to a lawyer, but lawyers are crazy expensive, especially in the Bay Area. You go from 500 bucks to 1200 bucks per hour. With Speed Legal, you can do the same, but we much more time saved when you talk to a lawyer. So we're not really replacing lawyers, but we're basically cutting time and money and prepare yourself before talking to a lawyer. So we compare each contract with the market standard or with the user standard, and we tell you what's the difference and where are the hidden clauses and provisions. And what does the like, authentication process look like within the app? Well, right now we're using Auth0, so it's pretty streamlined. Um, it's pretty easy, plugged in. It's the easiest thing to do when you want to start um, you know, off, the, off the shelf with not much customization. Uh, long term, we want to maybe using other services of, of uh, Okta family, basically being able to pull data from each user, understand the demographics, and really understanding a bit more about them, not just their email, but also who they are. That's very cool, just like personalizing that entire process. Correct. Awesome. And then when you're thinking about security, how are you looking at security within the app? Well, security is key, especially when you deal with contracts, you cannot um, uh, compromise. So we use the highest level of encryptions and we make sure that only users have access and few people that really need to have access to, to the data within our platform. So security is key. Contracts are one of the most valuable assets for every, every company. Absolutely. So I know you just mentioned that you have business users. What does the auth experience look like for them? So at the moment we give Google authentication, Microsoft out, and their own email and credentials. We are actually in the process of releasing the organizational uh, support, meaning that they can add the organization and invite other team members within that organization. That's awesome. I'm going to ask you a question that's more selfish on our end, but what does Auth0 mean to you? So Auth0 for us means velocity, simplicity, and security. I like that. I like how simple you phrase that. What yeah. is, when you say velocity, I can understand that that's like speed and how quickly your team works. Cool. So talking about engineering implementation, um, velocity is key because mm -hmm. as a startup, you have limited resources and you need to optimize and decide where to allocate them. So if we could spend like one sprint instead of two sprints integrating or building um, the authentication process, that's a lot of time and money saved. So we can devote to build core features for our users. Okay, awesome. And you mentioned simplicity and security as well. Well, Auth0 is part of Okta family and is the highest level of security. So we trust Okta and a lot of startups are trusting them. So I, I believe uh, I'm not a too tech, like super technical, so I haven't reviewed all the docs, but I believe if you're using it, it's, it's safe enough. Yeah. And I love that you have like a team of other technical engineers and you can sort of like trust them with the product itself and you don't have to be hands on with everything as a founder. Correct. And I can still deep dive if I want to, to check the customer data, the insights. It's very easy to integrate and to plug it in with Slack, with other, other platforms where we can get notification up, upon signups. So that's also one advantage of, of the platform out there we are using right now. Awesome. What does engineering productivity mean to you? For us as a company, it's important because we can deliver value to more people, more users, and spending less time uh, on each specific feature so we can move fast and also get more shares of the market and 
and be always one step ahead. So I'm very excited to just see your company grow and your product grow. Um, is there anything exciting down the road for you? Yeah, there are a couple of interesting projects we are working on. Everybody is speaking about AI agents. So right now we are really automating the redlining process. The next step for us is automating also the communication via email or chat and attaching the document redline. So having an AI agent negotiating for you, that would be one of the next steps for us. That's so cool. I can't wait to see it and hear more about it. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Thanks, Rhea. Um, and yeah, excited to see what you build. Thank you so much.